Hey guys, Mr. Connor here. Mr. Connor's Adventures. I'm up here at Pipe Stem today. Uh, out of school, don't have to work here at the park. Figured I'd just come up and shoot some videos. Um, been trying to post some quite frequent. Um, so now I'm gonna make it a point to try to get one out at least once a week. Um, I've got a couple different things I'm doing. Just a little while ago, I was in my Jeep busting snow drifts up through here. Um, now I am here at the shelter next to headquarters, next to my office. Um, pulled out some of my hatchlings. Um, my buddy Scott Buff um, from Turpin Outfitters makes these little hammock chairs. Um, he's making some bigger stuff. He's, he just recently moved into his new business. And him and him and him and my bro Mike Lyle are pumping it out out there. Um, seeing some good stuff come out of that area. Uh, can't wait to see more. Can't wait to go hang out with those guys. I'm gonna make it my mission, my point this year to go out to South Carolina, wherever North Carolina, wherever Turpin Outfitters is at, or, or Tar Hill State Hangers. I'm gonna make a point to get out there and, and, and finally get with these guys and, and enjoy some time. We've, we've for the last two years, we've been collaborating back and forth on um, our Facebook, YouTube, seeing things that he's posted live. Um, that's what I want today was just to hang up my hatchlings um, and go over some stuff that I've, that I've made, um, some stuff. I just want you guys to see the, the quality that these guys, especially Scott and Mike, both put into these hammocks and doing different things. Um, so I'm gonna pick it up now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and show you the hammocks. And this is what we are looking at. We're looking at this is the latest hammock that I've gotten from. Um, came out from Scott. Um, this is the uh, Super Lounger XL. It's in. Uh, I don't know if you can see it that good. Come around this way. So all the snow guys. This is uh, my Super Lounger XL. Um, this thing is awesome. It fits me perfect. I'm a big guy, about uh, just under 300 pounds, and this thing is awesome. It fits me perfect. I carry it with me every day in my pack. This one up here is the very first one that I got started with. Uh, I want to say two and a half, three years ago. This was my very first hatchling. Scott Buff on the page, Turpin Outfitters, man I just had to have one of these so we've done some bartering and uh, bartering and cash and then here it is and that thing has taken me from places you wouldn't believe guys just to be able to hang out especially like today. Um, if you look at it, um, this thing, the camera's not too good guys, I'm by myself up here really. Um, you look, Purple is blue on the inside, outside, double layered. Um, there's his tag. And this thing's got a little opening right here. That you can actually slip something under it to make it, when you're in the winter out here, cold weather, you can make it a little warmer. Um, I carry that one in one of my packs. And I carry this one here, guys. Another pack. Let's see if I can hold this and show you. Orange on the inside, see how much bigger it is, guys. So much longer. This my nose tag. See if I get in blind here, guys. Apologize for the bad camera. But I'm by myself up here shooting this off of an iPad. But guys, that's them hanging. Uh, I'm gonna back up a little bit and kind of give you an idea. They're hanging in my shelter area here. That's my office, state park office. Um, you can see the snow we got up here. This is my playground, guys. Uh, got hired here back in May. And this is what I do. I hike around here and play. What, a, what an awesome place to uh, to come to, guys. I mean, it's just completely has helped me out with my mind, my anxiety, uh, and, and these, these daggone uh, trails up here. Uh, I can't say, I can't wait anymore. I love the job, and what better place to, to bring Turpin Outfitters to the outdoors than West Virginia State Parks. And, 
and that's going to be my goal this summer coming, this spring, uh, is to get people in these hatchlings, guys. Uh, Scott, Mike, I'm glad you got the new facility because uh, get ready. I'm going to push these hammocks as hard as I can push them. These hatchlings are going to go. They're going to sit. I'm going to have everybody that visits the state park want these things. Guys, this has been Mr. Connor. This is my video on the hatchlings. Um, let me show you one thing before we go. Oh. Tuck the support out for a moment. Guys, this is one of the underquilts that I have sort of put together. Um, it's, I took a snug pack uh, jungle blanket and sort of cut it in half and made two of them. And if you see here on this side, I've, I've sewn together some stuff. Um, I put my bungee straps in there. I put some different places on it. See where I've sewn these on and put other things up there a little bit closer because you can really see I sewed these onto it. Once again, the same thing. I took cordage, not cord, different things. And I've got the guys where this thing will actually hang underneath my hatchling. And I can't rave enough about. You know, I'm not much of a, a, a sewer seamstress but uh, got the job done uh, learned a lot about it and uh, I feel like this is an awesome product product that I've come up with guys uh, yeah, check out Scott Buff and, and Mike and they're making underquilts and stuff for your regular hammocks um, hopefully they'll, they'll throw out some hatchling underquilts too and uh, go from there guys I'm going to snap this up real quick and I'll give me a second and I'll show you what it looks like Guys, I'm gonna turn you around and let you look at it. And that's it, guys, right there. You can see how I cinch it on and tighten it up down here on the, on the ends. Uh, you can hook it once you're into it, you can actually fasten it to your sides, whatever. But that's a comes off of my Like I said, I cut that bad boy and cut it too. Uh, apologize for the cut of the camera, guys. One of these days I'll get it right. Uh, just cut, it, cut that thing in half. Sewed it up, got me some uh, webbing and, and put on the side some shop cord. And uh, went to town and uh, even got to keep the little bag to keep it in. Uh, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out of here. This is uh, Mr. Connor's Adventures. Uh, for all my kiddos at school and things that want to see these videos, you'll see more coming. Uh, big shout out. If you haven't seen it, guys, go to Turpin Outfitters, Scott Buff. Check him out. Come to South Carolina, pumping out some hatchlings uh, for the students and stuff out there. Guys, these would make excellent hammocks for you all to carry in your packs. No matter where at, ball games, uh, waiting on mom and dad to get done at the office or after school when you're waiting, you can string one of these up somewhere, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll try to come up with some videos to show you all. I've slept in these things in the hospital, guys. So check out his, his Turpin Outfitters. And guys, get you all one ordered. Aggravate mom and dad, try to get you one. Mr. Connor out.